Welcome back to News 13 Now. A new BBB investigation finds reports of scams involving vehicles bought online are becoming more popular. We're joined now by Nicole Cordero with the Better Business Bureau with more on what to look out for and how to avoid falling victim when buying a car online. Nicole, thanks so much for being with us. Of course, thanks for having me. Sure, so first and foremost, how exactly does this scam work? Yeah, so we've seen this scam starting in the pandemic actually, mm -hmm. when online car shopping actually saw a boom. So how it works is, um, People are reporting that they are online shopping for a car, then it's at a great price. A lot of the times it's for classic vintage cars, which are really rare, hard to find. So when you find it at a great price, it's hard to refuse. Um, so they're either on Facebook Marketplace, like a, a person selling it, or they could impersonate a real vintage car dealer. Mm -hmm. And you think you are getting a great deal, but you're really just giving a huge payday to a scammer. Mm -hmm. All that excitement too, and then it ends up being a scam. Now, right. are, are there any instances of this maybe happening here in the Carolinas? There've been a few. and. A few of them have mentioned that they've actually been sent a link from a scammer to purchase a fake vehicle history report. So those are important when you're buying a new car, but um, they're sending them a link and it ends up being a fake website that they've created to get a little bit of a fee and also access to a bunch of personal information. So don't, um, don't go forward with that. Only use trusted websites for vehicle history reports. And now when shopping for a used car online, what are some red flags to look out for? I'm sure they're there's some that are obvious, but then there are some that might not be so obvious. Yes, so like I mentioned, classic car buyers are actually really being targeted from our data, that's what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. And so just if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If they're saying things like, you know, um, we can deliver it from across the country, and we'll deliver it right to your door. That's kind of with no fees, that's too good to be true. Um, so don't uh, pay via wire either or Venmo because things like that basically like cash. Once you pay, it's really hard to recover that money. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you think you're getting some nice vintage car and it ends up being yeah. a scam, obviously it can be very devastating. So any other tips to avoid falling victim? Yeah, do your research. Um, one thing that you can do is reverse image search that picture of the car because scammers will take it off the internet and just pretend it's their car that they're selling. Mm -hmm. So put it into Google, see what else comes up. That's a good way to tell if it's a scam or not. And um, you know, don't if it's too good to be true, just don't proceed. Be safe rather than sorry. Absolutely. All right, Nicole, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you.